Hey there, it's Gary Axelbank. We're here at, this is, this is the Bronx TV. We are Facebook Live. I'm here with my good friend, uh, Professor Lloyd Altan. We're talking about his life. We're gonna do a feature on uh, Professor Altan. We are sitting in the uh, Reverend William Teak reading room of the- Bronx County Archives. The Bronx County Archives. And I've asked the question that everybody asks me, and I've a I want it on the record. This is gonna be live. Everybody's gonna know. So the question is, Professor Altan, who is the Bronx Borough Historian, where did the Bronx get its name? Was it from the Bronx family? Is it the Bronx River? Is it a combination? The floor is yours. Okay, this is the most asked question, by the way. Uh, actually, the very first European settler was a fellow by the name of Jonas Bronx, B-R-O-N-C-K. Now, when he died, the only thing that was named after him that kept its name through the years uh, was uh, Bronx, his river or which became the Bronx, Bronx's River. Bro Bronx, his, the, that's, that's not Bronx, Bronx H-I-S, his, his river. Bronx, his river, okay. Yeah, and uh, that, uh, uh, and that of course became the Bronx River. Now they, because of writing with a cool pen is not exactly easy, they abbreviated B-R-O-N-C-K apostrophe S to B-R-O-N-X, because it was easier to write, mm -hmm. and that became Bronx. Now, what happened is the Bronx was originally part of Westchester County, New York, and was annexed to New York City in two separate stages. In 1874, the area west of the Bronx River was annexed to New York City from Westchester County, and in 1895, the area east of the Bronx River was annexed to New York City from Westchester County. Then in 1898, uh, the city annexed Brooklyn, Queens, and Staten Island, and decided to set up the borough system. And they decided the two areas previously annexed should also become a borough, but they didn't know what to call it since it never had a name before. And so there's that river running right through that right, east right. and west segment. All right, That's I'm right. And, and so basically, they, they geographically, they, say, they saw the river there, so they named it after the river, the borough of the Bronx. So it's really the borough of the Bronx River. But here's a little, uh, here's a little kicker. Okay. Just what we needed. Okay. Now, while uh, the Bronx in 1898 was a borough of the city of New York, it was not yet a county of the state of New York. So everybody in the Bronx had to go all the way down to the lower part of Manhattan in order to get any legal work done. Uh, and uh, it became a chore. So immediately there was agitation that began to have the Bronx made as a separate county. And it took a long time, and it wasn't until January 1st, 1914, that the area known as the Borough of the Bronx became uh, a county uh, of the state of New York. But by that time, uh, the, they had forgotten why the word the was there. And so consequently, the official name of the county is the County of Bronx, without the the. Wow, so, <laughs> who would have known? Oh yeah, so it's the Borough of the Bronx, but it's the county of Bronx. Uh, so before we uh, wrap it up, I, I want to just get this clarified because I write the Bronx a lot. Yes. Is it appropriate to capitalize the T? I always believed it's not because the name of it, as you just described, is Bronx and the capital T would make the name the Bronx and the the should just be small t with an article that says yeah. the Bronx. Well, there's a, there is a, obviously a school of thought who leaves that. Uh, however, if you say that it's the entire name, and the uh, and the entire name should be capitalized, then the the, 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 the he should be capitalized. And indeed, there's a uh, among the people in the newspaper business, there's a uh, uh, there's a, uh, uh, a disagreement among that. The, uh, the the New York Times and the Daily News do not capitalize it, but the New York Post does. Gee, I thought I was going to get some answers here. All you did was make it more confusing. Okay, so there he is, Professor Lloyd Altan. As I said, we're going to be doing a feature on uh, Professor Altan. That's why he and I are in this sweaty room uh, looking at some of the archives and talking about his life. Hand me that, that button that's right here on the table. Sure. And I'm going to say, and you can read it with me, the reason that uh, we do this is because this is the Bronx. Right. Is it? Oh, absolutely. This is the Bronx. Yes. All right, we'll see you soon.